Welcome back to the channel guys, glad to have you here like always. Today is gonna to be a very busy day here at the farm. I haven't even started working and I'm already sweating. One of the very first things that we're gonna be doing today is cleaning out all of these nest boxes back here. If you guys follow along the channel, you know that a while back, probably like three weeks, four weeks ago, I went ahead and I pulled out all the chicks that these parrots had. I've been hand feeding them, they look amazing. They've grown so much over the past couple of weeks but I never got a chance to pull these nest boxes out and clean them. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. Now, many of these probably have the second clutch already, so we'll have to be very careful. While we're at it, we'll do some nest inspections on it as well and see how many eggs some of these pairs have. Now, I've also been thinking about building new nest boxes for them, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough time this weekend to get all that done, but for sure, the very first thing is to clean these boxes out. But before we continue with today's video, cleaning those nests, it's time for your baby Quaker parrot update of the week. These guys have been growing so fast. As you can see, they're not so little anymore. They're starting to experiment a little bit more. They're learning how to eat. I've been offering a lot of soft foods, vegetables, fruits, egg food. I've also given them some seeds and pellets, and they're starting to experiment with all of these things. Little by little, they've been gaining more and more confidence, and now they're starting to learn how to fly as well. They're flapping their wings, they're flying from here to there and back and forth. So we have to be extremely careful where we take them. It's no longer easy to take them to the farm with us because during one of the feedings, one of these guys could just lift off and take off and it would be a disaster. So I'm having to be more careful with them. I have them here inside of the bird room at the moment. This small group right here is already, oh, there goes one pooping on me. Well, that's nice. So this small group right here is learning to eat on their own. They're the biggest one. And then we have the other group down here, which still has a while to go. They're not as big, but they're getting there also. You can see that they're already fully feathered up, but they're not ready to leave the nest yet. So I still have them down here. And then we have the tiniest one, which is this one right here. And this guy has been growing little by little. He's still the smallest dumpling that we have of the bunch, but He'll get there eventually, he'll get there eventually. Remember guys that these are listed on the website, www.paradiseaviaryexotics.com. For those of you who have already reserved your, your birds, as soon as they're eating on their own, I'll get in contact with you guys and I will set up shipment so that you guys can get them soon. All right, now let's get back to our video. Let's get to work. I should have brought a mask for this. There's so much dust everywhere. I gotta wash it off. So I just finished cleaning all of the nests as you guys saw. There's four pairs that have eggs. I don't expect these pairs to lay anymore. It's kind of late in the season. We're already sitting in July, so pretty much season's over. I'm amazed that there's four pairs that have more eggs. I brought these birds to the farm at the beginning of the season or a little bit past the beginning of the season, so I didn't even really expect much from them. So I was pretty happy when they gave me some chicks this year. I left the door open for one second and the turkeys come in here. These are my favorite animals on the farm. They're so dumb. That's a horrible thing to say, but they're so dumb, but so cute at the same time. The next thing that we're gonna focus on is finishing these cages back here. Over the last couple of months, I have been hard at work building all of these cages for the parrots and the majority of them, if not all of them already, are done. But there's still a couple components that need to go into these cages to make sure that they are ready for the birds. Like for example, we still need to go ahead and finish the doors on every single one of these cages. We need to finish doing the food enclosure. We also need to go ahead and attach the perches and the door all the way on the back. This is our model cage right here. And as you can see, it's already completed, but every single one of these cages behind it are missing that. So let's go ahead and let's start working on that as well. Hey buddy, come here, say hi to the camera. 
This is another one. They hang out in a group of three. There's three of them here, but they're always following me wherever I go. So I just finished cutting all of the doors for the cages. Time to move on to the food enclosures for all of these cages. Here in front of us, we have everything already pre-cut out to make one. Every single one of these little pieces comes together like a puzzle to form this enclosure that holds the dishes for the food. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it is that they are assembled in this part of the video. So if you guys wanna replicate something similar for your cages, you can go ahead and do that. Once I'm done assembling this one, I'll start cutting all of the other ones that I need for the cages and hopefully I'll be able to finish all of this by today and have every single one of these cages completely built. This is what the food enclosure looks like. Now all it's missing is just this little back flap door right here and this is where we put it in. And this is the section that gets connected to the cages themselves. Here's the first one done. Now I just have to go ahead and make 27 more of these. Have you guys ever looked at something and said, it looks simple? Well, this is it right here. I have been cutting mesh all day and this is all I have to show for it, right over here. It doesn't seem like much, but that is for the food enclosures of all the cages out there. And that is only the beginning of what I have to cut. I have to cut so many of those just to be able to go ahead and finish every single one of those. Now, luckily I have been using a bunch of pieces like this that you see down here that I have left over from the cages that I've been building. So I haven't had to cut any more of my rows, but this is taking forever today what I'm gonna be doing is just cutting as much of this as I can and then tomorrow I'll start to assemble it and put it together on the cages day two here at the farm I've been working for a couple hours trying to get all of the food enclosures done but I've been a bad YouTuber. I haven't been recording any of these things, but so far I've made a bit of progress. You can see down here, we have 11 food enclosures completely finished. Still have a long way to go before I can finish doing it for all of these cages. At least all of the doors are already pre-cut. I've made some progress with this. There's still a lot more work to do, but I think I'm not gonna bore you guys anymore with these cages and some of these stuff. The next time that you see these cages in a future video, they're gonna be completely done. And hopefully by then, we'll start transferring over the species of parrots that I have in the bird room right now over to the farm over here, which is the ultimate goal. Hopefully, hopefully in a month or less that will be done. But in order to do that, we have to finish building or not even finish building. We have to start building the enclosure for the parrots all the way in the back of the farm. I don't know if you guys remember this area that I showed you a few videos back, but this is the location of the new parrot enclosure. It's gonna measure 12 feet wide by 35 feet long, and that will hold all of the cages that I've been building back there. One of the things that I'm still trying to figure out is whether I'm gonna build it myself or I'm gonna outsource the job. Most probably I'll end up outsourcing it. I just haven't had enough time. Like today, for example, I was planning on being here a little bit longer, we have some other stuff that I, we have to get to, so we're gonna cut the day short, head out and get those things done. But hopefully in one of these next future videos, you're gonna see me either build this or you're gonna see a contractor out here building it for me. One of the two, I'm not sure yet, but very soon. These goats are starting to piss me off. Every time that they, we let them loose, they cause havoc. They do something different. The other day, they broke in through the chicken coop. And now today, take a look at what they did. You guys remember a while back, we built this structure right here to protect these guys so that they wouldn't get attacked by predators like hawks and raccoons. But the goats always find a way 
to break it, push through it, and try to get in. They broke it there. They pushed through down here as well. They pushed through right here also. And also on this side. You guys see this poor little guy right here? Unfortunately, he was getting picked on inside of the coop. The other chickens were attacking him. So we're gonna go ahead and take this guy home with us until he gets better. And then we'll go ahead and bring him out here when he's a little bit bigger and can defend himself. Sometimes chickens can be ruthless. Well, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Like always, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and haven't done so already. We'll see each other in the next one. Bye.